Hey, what's going on guys? John the Video Guy here. Welcome to the channel. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create these cool graphics inside After Effects, great for awards, or if you have you know, an award that you wanna to present to someone, these are gonna be nice overlay templates that you can use for your project. Not only that, but there's a lot of cool techniques that I go into in this video tutorial, so I really recommend that you watch to the very end. And also guys, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, it really helps my channel out, and with that, let's get started. So I'm inside Adobe After Effects and to get started, I'm gonna to go to Composition, New Composition. And we'll just name this Awards Graphics Template. 1920 by 1080 is fine, 29 frames a second. I'm gonna change the duration to around 15 seconds. But you can adjust it to however long you like these overlay graphics to be. Click OK. The first thing that we'll create is the little line graphic that you saw earlier. So I'm gonna grab my pen tool and what I'm gonna do is click one point to get started in my composition, hold down shift so that it's a straight line and then click again and then release. And then at the very top, what I'm gonna do is click the fill button and the fill options come up. I'm gonna choose none, click okay. Go to my stroke and choose solid color, but actually we're gonna be choosing radial gradient to give it a nice golden look. So we're gonna click that for now, click okay and change the actual width of the stroke to around six is a good uh, width that I used earlier. Now, if you double click on the color, the color is gonna come up and for one color, we can do maybe a light type of gold color, go to kind of like almost like a champagne type of color. And then for the other color, we'll choose a little darker of a gold. maybe more orange-ish, kind of like that. That way they've got a nice contrast there. And click OK. Now if we click off, you'll see that we have this gradient. And that's great, but what we can do is refine this in the bottom left here, you'll see the gradient stroke. And we have the start and end point here. We can adjust this to kind of adjust where the stroke is, where the color begins and ends. So for example, if we uh, increase the end point, so if we increase that more, you'll see that more of the lightness is added into it. So I'm going to increase this to maybe around 800. That way we have a nice, you know, it starts light and it goes darker out here. And now let's animate this. So what we're going to do is click on this. I'm going to rename this first. I'm going to hit return and name this line graphic. That way we can uh, keep track of what each thing is. And then go to the add button here. And what we're going to do is add trim paths. And then if you scroll down and untwirl trim paths, what we'll do is animate the start and end to animate in. So we're gonna keyframe the start and end, and we'll change both of these values to 50 to start. And then we'll go out to around one second. And then change the start to zero and the end to 100. And now if we play this back, we have a nice animation coming from the center out. And we can take this a step further by marquee selecting these keyframes right click on them, go to keyframe assistance and choose easy ease. Keyboard shortcut is F9. And we can add some more ease to this by going into the graph editor by selecting that. Click on the start, go to your selection tool, click on this and kind of hold down shift and bring out this point. That way it kind of eases into that for the start and then also for the end, we'll do the same. So now we have a nice easy ease transition. Right, so I'm gonna collapse this layer. And the next part we're gonna do is create the particles that come, you know, emit from this line graphic. So to do that, we're gonna make a new solid by going to layer, new solid. And we'll name this particle, particles. Make sure it's comp size and click okay. And then we'll go into our effects and presets window. If you can't see this, go to window effects and presets and search for CC particle world. And this will be our particle system that we add to the solid to create our particles. So I'll click and drag it to that. And the first thing we'll go is into the particle and change the particle type from line to star. And what we'll also do is change the color. So we'll change the birth color to maybe that light shade champagne color that we chose from our line graphic. Select that, click OK, and change death side, uh, sorry, death color to that darker kind of shade. That way it uses the same values as our line graphic. And next we'll change the burst size to maybe 0 0.06 and the death size to 0 0.01. That way we have nice little particles happening. All right, next we're gonna collapse this 
go to physics and what we're gonna do is kind of hold back the velocity a little bit, maybe change this to 0 0.01 and we'll change the gravity to negative 0 0.06. That way it's kind of going up. So now we got this going up and to kind of expand this a little bit, we're gonna go under producer and we're gonna change the radius X and expand this so it's the width of the actual line. So that's looking good here. And the longevity I'm gonna to change to maybe 0.2. That way it doesn't last that long. Maybe a little bit more, maybe like 0.4. There we go, that's looking good. All right, so the next part we're gonna do is actually animate the uh, birth rate so that it animates on. So I'm gonna to go to about 15 frames, click on the birth rate, change it to zero, go out to maybe one and a half seconds or so, and I'm gonna actually go to one, see how that looks. So a little less particles coming in. That basically controls how many particles are being birthed. All right, so this is what we have so far. Line comes in and we got nice particle trans, uh, particles happening here. So the next part is to create the graphic or the top, I should say the award category text. So we're gonna grab our text tool Click out here and type in your uh, name of the award. And a good font to use that I used for award graphics is called Avenir Next. I'm gonna go Avenir Next Ultra Light, but what I'm gonna do is actually click the bold button to make it a little bit kind of in between ultra light and regular. I'm gonna change the color to white for now, but we're gonna change the color to match the gold a little in a second. And what I'm gonna to do to kind of give it the award-esque feeling is change the tracking to around 200. And this really spaces everything out a little bit. Next, I'm gonna click on the graphic, go to your align panel, which is up here. If you can't see this, go to window align and just align this to the center of your composition. Go back to the character panel and size down the graphic a little bit. Then go to your selection tool, click and hold the shift uh, key and drag this down just above the line here. That looks good. Next, we're gonna add the color. So click on the layer, go to your effects and presets window, clear this and type in ramp. And we're gonna add a gradient ramp. And we'll first change the ramp shape to radial ramp, and then we'll change the colors. So we'll change white to that dark gold color and the black to that champagne color. And if we adjust where these points are, we can kind of adjust kind of how it looks. That way we get more of the light champagne in the middle and the dark orange or amber kind of gold color at the edges. So that's looking pretty good. Next, we're gonna animate this. And as you saw earlier, it kind of animates into, you know, out of nothingness, out of the line. So to do this, we're gonna create a mat. So first grab your rectangle tool and change the fill to solid fill color Click OK, it doesn't really matter what the color is, blue's fine, it can really be anything. Go to Stroke, turn off Stroke and click OK. And next, draw a rectangle right above the line. And then click on the layer in the timeline window, hit Return, we'll name this Name of Award Matte. That way we know this is the matte. And then make sure that the name of the award text layer is directly under the matte layer, click on it, and then change the target mat by clicking on toggle switches down here, change the target mat to alpha mat. And this essentially what this is saying is put this mat into this layer. So, you know, if we select this and we move it, for example, it will hide it. So next let's actually animate the text. So we're gonna hit P on our keyboard, click position, right click on the parameter, click click on separate dimensions. That way we have control over each dimension separately. Separately, And we'll go to the one second mark and we'll click on the time stopwatch next to Y position. Go out to around two seconds, click another keyframe, click the back button next to the diamond and click and drag the Y position value to the right a little bit. And now we have this animate app. And similarly to how we animated the line, we can marquee select these, hit F9 on our keyboard, and this adds easy ease. 
And we can even refine this by going to the graph editor, clicking on the parameter, and then adding some nice uh, slow down kind of effect here. That's a little quick. I'm gonna click and drag this out a little bit to kind of slow it down. And I think it could start a little earlier. So what I'm gonna do is actually mark key, select these keyframes and drag this out a little bit. Trying to line up it as the line kind of comes out and then it comes up. So that's looking pretty good there. All right, that's looking good. I'm just gonna collapse these layers. And next what I'm gonna do is create the actual word graphic. So the actual winner's name. So I'm gonna click on my text layer. I'm gonna click out in the empty space. I'm gonna type, type in winner's name. I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna unbold it in the character panel and change it to just Avenir Next Bold. I'm gonna change the tracking back down to zero. And I'm gonna increase the size quite a bit. Then I'm gonna go into my align panel and vertically align this. It's important to not make sure that this winner name is not larger than the line graphic. So go back into the character panel and kind of resize it. That way it's just underneath the width of the line graphic. And then go back into the line and just vertically and horizontally align it right here. For now, we're gonna hide this graphic. We're gonna hit the eyeball tool in our timeline. And what we're gonna do first actually is create the mat that it's gonna go into. So what we're gonna do is create the rectangle and similar to how we did the, the category, we're gonna actually create a mat again for this. So just draw another rectangle and we're gonna click on it, rename this winners name mat that way we know what it is. And we can also do the same thing. We can click on the text layer and just click alpha mat. But what we're gonna do also is create a null object in order to actually animate this in as you saw in the intro graphic. So follow along, uh, we're gonna go to layer new null object. This will all come together in a few minutes, don't worry. Rename this by hitting return and then just name this animation control. And then what we're gonna do is select the winner's name mat. I'm holding down command to select these separately. The uh, name of the award mat, the actual name of the award text layer, the particles in the line graphic. And what we're gonna do is click and drag the parent pick whip tool to this animation control null object. And what this allows us to do is actually animate all of these elements together as one. I just hit command Z to undo that. So basically what we're gonna do is similarly to before, we're gonna right click on the position, separate dimensions of the null object, and we're just gonna animate the uh, Y position of the null object to kind of reveal the text layer. And for this sake, I'm gonna turn the winner name graphic back on, that way we can see it. And you'll notice here when we uh, move the null object, we can actually reveal this text layer. And what I'm actually gonna do is do the opposite. So instead of it saying alpha mat, we're gonna do alpha inverted mat. And this puts it, it basically inverts it. So wherever the mat isn't, that's where it's gonna uh, be located. So as we animate this null object up, it's gonna reveal it. So that's kind of how that works. So I'm gonna go back down here and we're gonna animate the Y position. So I'm gonna go out for about five seconds. Click on the stopwatch, go out to about six seconds and then animate this up like so. And then similarly, we're gonna select these, hit function F9, go to the graph editor and bring this up and that reveals the winner. Now to get the gold effect, what we can do is just simply copy and paste the gradient ramp from the name of the award to the winner name by just saying Command C and Command V. And we got a very similar graphic here, same color, I should say. So this is what we have so far. Name of the award, and then the reveal. And you can move these keyframes depending how quickly you want it to reveal the name. So if you want it immediately, you can just 
marquee select these and move them over, name of the award, and then the winner. Another cool thing that you can do to stylize this winner name graphic is an effect I use all the time. It's called light sweep. So what you can do is click on the winner name text, go to effect, generate, light sweep, CC light sweep and change the edge intensity and the edge thickness to zero. We're only focusing on like the width of it and the direction of it. And then you can keyframe the center kind of where it is. So, you know, you can have it start here, click on the stopwatch, go forward a few seconds, and then animate it to the right. And then when we play this back, it kind of has a nice little shimmer effect going on here. All right, so now let's animate this off. So to do that, what we're gonna do is animate the text layers first and then the line graphic. So I'm gonna click P on the name of the award, click a keyframe, go forward to about nine seconds and just animate this down. Same with the winner's name, click P on your keyboard. I'm gonna go back to the first keyframe by clicking the back arrow, right click on the position click separate dimensions, click the key, the stopwatch next to the Y position, go forward, and then just animate this up. Same thing, marquee select these, hit function F9, and now we got that happening. They kind of disappear into the line. And then at the end of these keyframes, what you can do is go back to your line graphic, click you on your keyboard to bring up the keyframes for both the start and end create new keyframes and kind of reverse what you did, go forward one second and then change them both back to 50. And then what you can do is just simply go back to the particles, click you on your keyboard. And what we can do is go back to around nine seconds and click a keyframe for the birth rate, go out to 10 seconds and change it down to zero. That way the particles kind of fade out. So there you go, guys. That is how to create this cool awards motion graphic. That's it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you learned something new today. If you want to learn a little bit more, maybe you can take this to the next level and texturize it a little bit. I did make another video going over to kind of how to take a gold, something that's gold and add a little sparkle or you know, shimmer to it. I'll link that video right up here if you want to check that technique out using fractal noise. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching today, guys, and we'll see you next time.